This heavy buck finally makes the hit list, but that is just the beginning. I think I only got about four or five inches of penetration. We looked for him all day the next day. I mean, I took my time on this deer because I thought if there's any chance it even punctured a lung, I'm going to take my time and find that deer. We didn't find him. We got in there early, climbed up into the box blind, and Scott goes, there's a deer right there. Sure enough, it's heavy. What's the longest you have ever waited to add a buck to your hit list? I am Taylor Drury, and on this episode of DOD TV, we have a giant mixed in with a little bit of redemption. This segment of DOD TV is brought to you by PSE's ECS, Evolve Cam System. With up to 90% let off, that means if you're pulling 60, you're holding six. Even for a dummy like me, those are numbers that I can wrap my head around. DOD team member Tom Ware is no stranger to killing giant bucks. He's right next to the mad scientist. He's a big buck killer. After three years of history with Heavy, he's finally mature and Tom says, okay, you're on the hit list. Little did he know, he is in for some challenges. I promise you, this is a hunt that you have to see for yourself. Grab your popcorn. Well, we're heading into a stand uh, in a box blind, what I call the creek stand. We got the decoy, and we're going after a particular buck I call heavy. No explanation needed on that one. You'll see why. He's, he's just a heavy buck. Good. It's October 30th. It's about 50 degrees. It should be a good hunt. Let's see. Well, it's October 30th, and we're going in the far back corner of this big 30-acre switchgrass field. The great thing about this switchgrass field is I had burned it the previous spring and it came up so lush, it's, it's, it was like seven, eight foot tall. It's so thick, so it's like just like having timber. These deer love this switchgrass. And man, what a night did we have. Well, we made it into this box blind. And uh, as you can see, the uh, biologic maximum and we got some radishes mixed in there. We got some standing beans, but uh, the pigweed took over and there's some beans in there, but you just can't see them real well. The buck we're going after, uh, Heavy, was actually here last night, a few minutes after legal shooting time. Hopefully we'll see him tonight a little earlier. Here comes Heavy V. We can see him back in the timber. He's coming out. Well, we see Heavy, and he's, he's staying too far away. He's like 100, 150 yards away. He's with the doe. We snort wheeze at him a couple times, grunt at him, trying to get him to come over to the boss buck. He's interested, but he's more interested in his doe. He actually came back in the field, did a bunch of scrapes. We thought he was going to come right over. And now he's gone down the edge of that creek bank, so we don't know if he just left or if he went and he's trying to get downwind of us. So this is the tense moment see. Hopefully there's a good ending. Well, we found Heavy. He actually just followed his doe that he was out with earlier. Hopefully he'll come over here. We got plenty of daylight left. We'll see. Finally, after, gosh, it was at least a half hour, 45 minutes, he started working our way, coming right at the decoy. He came right in. He's gone farther than we like. He's gone about 
oh, I don't know, maybe 80, 100 yards, but we just found the nocturnal. Right there. I think I only got about four or five inches of penetration. That's probably not good, but I don't like that, to be honest with you. Well, it's the next morning, Halloween morning, and we gave that deer overnight. We looked for him all day the next day. I mean, I took my time on this deer because I thought if there's any chance it even punctured a lung, I'm gonna take my time and find that deer. We didn't find him. Even after taking a hit from a Rage Broadhead, the buck still didn't go down. That's saying something right there. That's a tough son of a gun. So now, Tom has accepted the challenge and it's up to him to get it done. We're going into a green clover plus field that's not far from where I shot heavy the other day. Uh, we're checking a couple cameras on the way and we're hoping to get some view of him. So that's our goal tonight. I wait a few days to go in. I go in and check a camera. He's on there. Actually, he's on there pretty early afternoon in another food plot only a few hundred yards away from where I shot him. Oh, there he is. There he is, buddy. He's alive. He's alive. Yes, that's him. Look at that's heavy. You can see his rack. Wow. Heavy's alive. Yeah. My heart starts pounding again, and now I'm back into gear going after this deer. We have the right wind. We see this deer coming out limping. It's heavy. So, man, I am excited. He's alive, he's gonna be fine. He's limping a little bit, which I didn't like, but hey, those deer are just amazing. They can recover from anything. He didn't come by that night, but I knew he's alive. I knew he'd made it, and we we're gonna go after him another day. Well, it's the morning of November 5th. We still got this warm weather. So we decided to come and hunt heavy on the same food block we've seen in the last two nights. I had him at 70 yards the other night, just out of range. I just didn't want to take, of course, that long a shot. He's been hanging tight right here. I think it's because he's injured. And he's just kind of laying low on this on this clover field. And uh, boy, I hope, I hope this morning I mean, we, we got in here without spooking a single deer. It was so windy, it covered our tracks. So cross your fingers. We got in there early, climbed up into the box blind. We're actually trying to get everything ready, and Scott goes, there's a deer right there. Sure enough, it's heavy. There's heavy right there. There he is, he's coming out of the brush right there. He's in the food blind. He's gonna walk right through the blind. He's gonna... Let's get these windows open. Get on him. Take a look at this majestic animal. Oh my God. Look at the mass. Well, here's the buck we call heavy. I've been after him all season. 
Kind of had a little mishaps in there, but finally got the job done. He's just a majestic animal. He's super heavy and just carries his mass all the way out. Beautiful, beautiful animal. Let's get my tag on him and get him loaded in the truck. Congratulations. Hey, thank you. You worked for it. I did work on this one, probably as hard as any buck. Let's get him to the locker. I'm telling you what, that is one tough deer. Kudos to Tom for staying aggressive, getting the job done, and filling the freezer. Be sure to comment below about a buck that you've had history with, you've watched him mature, but he threw you a couple curveballs. Also, please make sure to subscribe to our official Jury Outdoors YouTube page, the one you're watching right now, because we have a lot more DOD TV coming right at you. I'm Taylor Jury, thanks for watching. This segment of DOD TV is brought to you by Scent Crusher. Scent off, game on.